Right, can I finally see again? I've gotten out of the snowstorm. Jesus, man, that was... I had to just run and keep using fear to try and use animals to detect where the animals were and just run towards them. <laughs> Oh. Oh. No. Right. Yeah, I think. Uh oh. Do something. This isn't video. Oh well, they were in videos. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh well, it's getting lighter anyway. Maybe that means it's coming morning. Shame, I accidentally killed a couple of videos. But, I'll put them to use. Right, bloodlust extended. I might actually just make it the rifting at this rate. Where are you? Who are you grilling at? Eh? Hey. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf now? Eh? Hey. Yeah, I remember that. They sing who's afraid of the big bad bull for a reason. Right, yo. Is anything else that's stupid enough to jump in and attack a werewolf? That attack is awesome, by the way. That sprint and power attack is just frickin' phenomenal. Was oh, that your partner? There you go, join in an afterlife. That would be useful for a night time, but I like this howl of fear. Taking people out of combat. So they can't attack me. Where did he go? Not there we go. Right. Let's carry on eating hearts on my way to Riften. What the hell is- that's a troll! Eh! Oh, that! Oh, look at me, I'm a big bad troll! Well, I'm the big bad wolf! Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it! Now I'll just eat your thing you killed as well! Just add insult to injury! Eh? My freaking god, I'm just. Slaughtering everything on the path to Riften. <laughs> I am never going to get out of werewolf form at this rate. <laughs> oh god, how much time have I got left in this form? I went for two whole episodes in it. I thought I was a vampire. Oops! My mistake. Yay! Who's that? Who are you growing at now? 
Yeah. Yeah. Bloody hell, man. You'd think they'd see a werewolf and think, um, no, I'm not having any of that. But the bear's just like, oh, hey, I can take him. Boom. Flies. It's like the first Rodala's hand. What was that? I know I hit something. <laughs> What's going on in here? Something being attacked. Something being attacked. Oh, yes. I'm sorry I'm eating your friend's heart. I was not meant to do that. And oh, no, I'm just gonna eat all the hearts now. They're dead anyway. It doesn't matter to you, right? They're all dead anyway, I'm just making good use of them. Let's run before to set the dogs on me. <laughs> Run in, kill the giant, eat all the hearts, and run off. <laughs> that shaman must be thinking, "Oh, my big badass, I scared the wolf off." Ooh. What the? F oh, that's a thief! Right. My God, this real will never change back. Of all my perks, but they have changed back. Right, let's. Oh, Jesus, I thought. Got up here. No, I'm not interested in inviting you. You're an innocent folk. I am just cutting through the path. Shut up, bear. Sound engine's going to funky now. He was just giving up and said, so that he's going to kill some of things. Who said it? Sound engines just get a bit funky now. Sounds are delayed. Oh jeez. That wolf just said fuck it, I'm off. <laughs> That's the first sensible creature I've met so far. It's like, oh fuck it's him again. Let's just run. You hurt. See the thing about the werewolf form is this once Yeah, once you get used to using it, you don't progress your skills. So you never really level up. And this is not even the most powerful form of the werewolf. As you progress through the levels, your werewolf gets more powerful. So I think it's level 45 before you get the most powerful werewolf you can be. So by... Yeah, constantly using the werewolf, you're, you're making it harder on yourself because you're not leveling. You're, it's a crutch, basically. You're relying on it to do the hard work for you. But I've basically built it up now to full power for the perk wise, so I don't need to use it unless I need to use it. Right. This is still a. Yeah, that's no night vision. This is night vision. That's how dark it is, isn't it? And earlier I couldn't even see with night vision on. So that tells you how dark it was then. That's us to... Oh my god, we're at Fort Dongar already. And I'm still in werewolf form. Oh, 
Se sentí. Digo ya. Hey, te la habla. Valley will look for us back here. And oh my god, I'm still a werewolf. <laughs> How much time have I got left? Um, oh, well, what I'm going to do is just wait three hours. And hopefully that will. The time will not go off. Yes! Oh my fucking god. How much longer could I have went like that? Hey, I think that's all my stuff quit back on. Hey, that's cool. Jesus, man, that's like, what, 50 minutes of pure werewolf rampage. 50 minutes of rampage from a werewolf. That's two and a half episodes to use of me just running around as a werewolf killing shit. Can't say I don't give you enough action scenes. I'm definitely not gonna have any complaints that I spent too much time doing alchemy. <laughs> Cause I just spent two and a half episodes killing people as a werewolf. <laughs> yes. God, must be a trail of dead bodies all the way up and doing the Skyrim. Ah, oh, yeah. <sighs> That's the fort. Alright, let's go get some quests off of Serene and Gunmar. And uh, sir, let's go meet Sarana and get her as a companion. Oh, look, they've made the gates now. Hey, buddy. Aye. Oh, it's Tildy. Tildy. I thought it was Vori. There should be a wee camp here now as well. Nope, we haven't put the tents up yet. As you progress through the Dawn Guard missions, this comes more and more lively here. You get people moving in. Isran knows how to fight those monsters. He's been preparing for this day for a long time. I really should get one of those Dawn Guard cloaks and use that. That's not cloaks to keep. I'll have to go and look for one. Well, I don't think I'll have to eat it in the day anyway. I just ate every fucking creature on the way here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, how many people can I eat? Oh. Alright. You've got us all here. Now what do you want? It's right there. Hold it right there. What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. Well, I'm a werewolf. So welcome to Fort Dawn. I can't get infected. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. 
Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with you, shall we? Here we are. It begins again. I fear for what is to come. Um, what kind of help? I've discovered the whereabouts of a vampire lair. Destroying the head vampire is usually sufficient to scatter its minions, though it's best to destroy every last one of them. Oh, sure, whatever. Still. East Run had a surprising stockpile of weapons and armor. Take a look. Yeah, I just need crossbow bolts. Well, that's actually quite good. Right. Well, that's a lot of difference between mine and theirs, but... Theirs has not been smithed up, so... I've got the carry weight for it. No, I haven't. I seem to be carrying a lot of weight. Maybe it was all those people I ate in the way here. But well, I'll leave it for us now. <laughs> but let's compare it. Gauntlets for orcs. Which is one level below the ebony is 38. Don't guard heavy gotten it. They're below orcish, they're probably even twelve dwemer armor. Uh, dwarven helmet forty six. Don guard helmet forty yeah, it's the same as d dwarven armor basically. It's not too bad, but it's way below what I've got. Take care of yourself. Serene? I want to work with you. Three. Well, this isn't exactly a palace, is it? Still, it's sturdy, secure, and seems defensible. I suppose I'd rather be here than most other places in Skyrim. Isran needs me. It must be pretty bad. I wonder what we're up against here. Um, what can I do to help you? I want to add some punch to our crossbow capabilities. I've done all I can on my own. I need a little inspiration. I've always been fascinated with Dwemer artifacts. I take them apart, poke around in their guts, and try to figure things out. And it makes results. But as luck would have it, I've tracked down the location of some actual Dwemer diagram drawings. So, if you'd be a deer and collect those plans for me? Um, yeah, sure. But you still? It's sort of a random assortment of things. See anything useful? Yes, I see steel bolts. Take one of them. That's actually a useful restoration spell. But, um, my character doesn't use magic. That's a shame. I still haven't found out to add that to a bow. I'll go to the restraining bench, it doesn't give me the option to add it on. I have some of them. What's the most weighty things I've got? There we go. Freed up a bit of weight. Alright then. I'll just keep the episode going until until I get Google notification. Anyway, um, I want to talk to Strana, start the next mission, and actually do it for this episode. If I walk up there and Strana's there, it means I know that the fix is done properly. There was a bug with the scripting engine that stopped it from working properly because if there's a script for the OnGuard DLC in the folder so the end of PSA it didn't work. So yes, it's working fine. You probably weren't expecting this to see me. Not really showed up while you were away. 
I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. No, because I thought the script engine would bug out and you wouldn't bug out and you wouldn't be here. But anyway, what are you doing here? I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. Oh, what about you? The reason I was down there and why I had the Elder Scroll. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. Um, spoilers, that prophecy was made up by the main villain. Anyway, what sort of prophecy? It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Have vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. Okay, you took a big risk coming here. I did, but something about you makes me think I can trust you. Oh yeah. I hope I'm not wrong. No, you're not wrong, just as long as you keep that area open. No, you're right. Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. <laughs> Alright, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Because we need our help. Why? Because of that story about the prophecy about some vampire trying to put the sun out? Do you actually believe any of that? Uh, they have an Elder Scroll. Is... Do you need any more proof than that? Who knows? Maybe it has a death wish. Maybe it's just insane. I don't really care. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it? Yeah, Maybe. sure. Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Really? I never Whatever noticed. It, says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Who can? Well, the moth priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away, in Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, this is going to get a hint to how old she is. Well, back before I... you know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. Oh, okay. Let's go there. <laughs> come on. Alright, they're following me now. Right, anyway, I was talking about is she mentions the college you went and hold before she was turning into a vampire. That means she was born after first era two four five when the college went and hold was actually established. So when you know that's the oldest she could be is born just around first era two four five. 
That's the absolute oldest you could be. That would give you uh, 2,800 years for the first era, 1,000 for the second era, which is 3,800. 400 for the uh, fourth era, which is four, gives you 4,200, and there's 200 to this in this era so far. I knew it would come so the oldest you can possibly be is 4,400 years old. And no one believed. Yes. So the possible oldest age is 4,400 years. And Mirax way older than that. He's about 4,700 years old. So she's not the oldest person around. The Vaif Fear. The Vaif the mage from Morrowind is probably old on both of them. <laughs> Who knows if he's still alive. Anyway, just a little bit of background for you before I end the episode. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.